Here's a quick comparison between the cover that doesn't have the T51R and the one that does have the T51R mod to it. So you can kind of just see what the difference in the way that they appear. This one's supposed to sound different also. But the whole set sound cool as they are, so I don't really think you guys need the T51R mod. But I don't know. I guess some people just like the way it looks and it's supposed to perform better. This one has the H1C turbine housing though, which you wanted, is a 16 CM. And then we did a 67 millimeter turbine wheel in it. Here's a T4 turbine housing 1.15. These are machinable for the HX40 67 millimeter. So I machined that for another guy. But here's what the turbine housing looks like after being machined out. That turbo would also fit in this turbine housing. It could be used with a T4. So here's what the exhaust housing looks like. So that's a 67 millimeter turbine wheel. We always take these flanges and surface them to make sure the gasket seals. Here's another one that I'm working on. This one is the one that gets the T4 housing. And I also machined that for a V-band, which is pretty cool. This one is gonna be a 67 millimeter compressor wheel. I haven't finished this one yet. I been working on that basically all di all today it takes me about probably six or seven hours to do the t whole t51r mod so i'm not going to do very many of them but i've just kind of been having fun playing around with a couple of them some people wanted me to do them but i probably won't take on too many of those jobs here's the back side of it so like I was saying before, this is a Garrett turbine housing that I machine out for the whole set HX40 67 millimeter. Here's the V-band flange. So I made it an interlocking V-band. I cut all this back and then trim the housing down. This is what the housing looks like before machining. So this flange is pretty much worthless. It's like a 3.25 inch or something weird like that. So I just machine them down to something people can use. There's also an 11 blade HX40 67 millimeter, but I'd only built one of these a really long time ago. But I thought I'd run that by you guys. I just think that would be a cool upgrade to do. Here's the 67 millimeter with the T51R mod completed. This is the 62 that I showed before. That turned out really nice. This one should be good for six to 700 horsepower. And this one is more ideal. I've had people easily make 725 on this one. And it really should be good up to 900, maybe even a thousand, because it really depends on which turbine housing you put on it. This one's got the T4 1.15. So that one should be good for around a thousand horsepower. Here's the HX40 with a 62 compressor and a 67 turbine. This is the same one that I built for the guy on YouTube. His, uh, his channel is called Paradox. This one is for sale. There was a mix up that I had. I accidentally shipped a guy the wrong turbo. He ended up installing it. But then that turbo is actually supposed to go to somebody else. So I ended up having to 
get this one sent back and then I had to build a whole nother turbo for the other guy. So this one's an extra turbo that I have sitting around. So it's got the upgrade compressor and upgraded exhaust turbine. I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit because some of the packing material got down on the fins there. But yeah, so this one's got the biggest turbine and then a compressor wheel that's not too excessive, but it's got a 62 compressor. So this one should be good for 550 to 600 horsepower on the Dodge. People that are trying to put it like on a, on a gas vehicle, you can easily make in the 700 horsepower range with this turbo.